Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching another one of my YouTube videos and please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell if you would like to see more. So today, as you could tell from the title, we are going to be talking about why I was not ready for a teacup Pomeranian. So from the outside, you don't really see the problems and the struggles and some of the difficulties that are involved with owning a teacup animal. So Prada only weighs about three pounds, which is about the weight of four potatoes. Actually, I think four potatoes weighs less than three pounds, but he's basically about 10 potatoes. I love you. All I'm trying to say is that he is extremely, extremely small. So there is some things that come with having a dog this small. First and foremost, they are extremely attached to their owners. So anywhere I go, any time of the day, it does not matter. Prada will be stressed out if I ever leave him alone. So before getting a Pomeranian, you need to make sure that you have so much extra time available because they physically need you or they will start to get depressed and they will suffer from separation anxiety. Can you please be quiet? <sighs> Sorry, I ordered a maid off of this new app called Handy, and she is extremely loud right now, and I don't think she knows that I am a YouTuber, and I need it to be quiet. Now, I think she knows. So that's good. But anyways, back to the regularly scheduled pro. Grooming a Pomeranian is extremely costly. The main reasons being they have two sets of fur. So there is so much hair inside of this guy. Like he is mostly just a giant fur ball. And so with that being said, it requires a specially trained groomer in order to properly cut and style his hair. So a Pomeranian, I mean, I'm sorry, a groomer that might specialize in like Yorkies or a golden retriever will have no idea what to do with the Pomeranian and the grooming session will show. So grooming a Pomeranian can cost anywhere from $100 to $200 per month. So if you ask me, that adds up and that is a bit expensive. Another thing about teacup Pomeranians is that they can be very difficult to potty train. Prada never goes poop inside of the house, ever. But sometimes he does go pee pee. And I think that that is because it is so hot in California that the asphalt is burning. And when he has to go pee pee, instead of going all the way outside to the asphalt, he will just go towards the back door and do his best. But the reality is he does sometimes go pee pee inside of the house. So that's something I wasn't ready for when getting a teacup Pomeranian. Another thing is that he sheds everywhere. Like I'm talking everywhere. So I've noticed that I have to constantly, constantly do laundry. So like two times a week, I am washing things, washing my bedding, because if I don't, it'll just turn into a giant, ginormous hairball. So his hair basically just controls my life my life. Another thing is Pomeranians are not hypoallergenic. So if you are allergic to animal dander or any kind of animal hair, you will be allergic to Pomeranians. I personally am allergic to Pomeranians. And um, well, I'm allergic to animals. So I have to deal with uh, the occasional rash that'll break out on my arm. And you know, it's okay though, because I love him so much. I will deal with an occasional rash and it is not all the time. It's not all the time. Just sometimes I'll wake up and I'll have a random rash. And I'm like, okay, you know, that's from Prada. So I am allergic to dogs. I am allergic to cats. And uh, Pomeranians are not hypoallergenic. So I was not ready for this when I got a teacup Pomeranian. Lastly, Pomeranians are prone to multiple health conditions. So Prada has a collapsed trachea, which means his air pipes in his throat are messed up. So sometimes he has a really hard time breathing. You can kind of consider it puppy asthma. Sometimes he needs an inhaler. He gets really chokes. He chokes a lot. And um, it's just prone in teacup dogs like himself. 
Also, small teacup dogs like Prada also are at higher risk of cryptorchidism, which Prada also has. So cryptorchidism is when your testicles do not descend into the scrotum like they're supposed to. Instead, they stay up and lodged in between your legs. So this is actually a thing in uh, a humans as well. Humans can have cryptorchidism. And it's basically when your testicles do not descend. So some of the results from this is that some of the things that can happen is that your uh, testicles are not properly heated. So you can become sterile, which means you cannot have any babies. And uh, also you are at higher risk of prostate cancer due to this condition. I love you, Prada. I love you so much. So although there are a few things that I was not ready for with my teacup Pomeranian, I love him so much and I wouldn't change a thing for the world. This dog has shown me unconditional love and I highly recommend Pomeranians for anyone that wants an animal that will love them so, so much. I love you, Prada. I love you. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. And if you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up. And do not forget, I make daily videos here on this channel. So I will see you guys back right here tomorrow. And until then, I will see you next time. Bye. Say bye, Prada. Say bye. Say bye. Ha <laughs> ha.